And uh, yeah, okay. Yes, exactly. Welcome back after yeah. the coffee break. And uh, the last uh, speaker of today will be uh, Ron Wapan from uh, Georgia Institute of Technology. And uh, he will talk about uh, isentropic approximation. Thank you very much uh, for this short introduction. And they are, I want to thank the, uh, so the Apollo, uh, Bruno, so Marco, Marco, and there's a lot, so the Corrado, and uh, uh, Deborah, and there's uh, Donatella, so, uh, and Stefano, and there's uh, all this of uh, my uh, friends uh, over here. And the most important is like the Piero, <laughs> who actually created actually this, uh, uh, this uh, uh, basically uh, this nice uh, place here. And they are, so they are one of the good, uh, so they, uh, the good news is that uh, I'm the uh, last talk of today. So the bad news is I'm going to speak up for two hours. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> All right. So the uh, so it's a, uh, it's an honor to come back to uh to uh L'Aquila and there. Uh, so there uh, I have a lot of a uh, great memory of L'Aquila. Uh, so the uh, I, the first time I met uh with uh, Piero is uh, 1996 at Beijing and uh, with uh Sanos. And so they after the uh, uh, hyperbolic conference in Hong Kong, so they are, uh, so they actually traveled to the uh, to Beijing, and they, uh, I, I I served as a partial of the ho local host for them. And they are, uh, so this is how I uh, met uh, with the Piero, and they are uh, then uh, in uh, 1998, I graduated uh, uh, with a PhD, and they, so they uh, and fortunately actually uh, uh, Alberto actually, so they are uh, offered me a, a job. In Italy, so I came to Italy, and then uh, so so when when somebody does the hyperbolic conservation laws and they came to Italy, so the uh, one of the most important thing is to uh, need to come to Aquila to see uh, Piero. So uh, that's what I did, and I came here. Uh, so they uh, they uh, so they uh, so immediately during the winter, and they, then we, then I came back uh, the next year with my wife, and they, we stayed in the uh, Piazza Duomo and the Hotel Duomo. And there for three weeks, and there so they are, uh, and after that actually later, uh, so they are. Uh, in two thousand eight, I so I was honored to uh, to get uh, to invited to come here to help to set up uh, the PD applied PD courses for the uh, mass mode uh, program, and uh, I I hope I did a uh, a good job on that, <laughs> so, and uh, uh but uh. Like uh, four months after that, after I left, uh, there's a last earthquake. So, so, so uh, I came here and I'm actually uh, kind of like heartbroken to see that they are, that this, uh, so the damage has been done. But uh, I also was uh, very, uh, very much encouraged by actually uh, the, uh, how, how the things are getting back to, uh, to order and the, uh, the, uh, the, even the, so the growth of, of, of the uh, local, local actually uh, hyperbolic conservation and PD groups over uh, in Aquila. It's actually really impressive. Okay, so they are okay. So they are. It's very happy to have uh, this occasion to celebrate. So they are Piero's uh, seventy years birthday. So it's hard to believe that it's seventy years old. <laughs> so yeah. So I I would see. So they are yeah. So it's like uh, it's uh, uh, nothing changed actually uh, since uh, the first time I met him. So and uh, so. The, and then, so you, uh, okay, so they, that's uh, talking about some mathematics. So it's like it said. Yeah, so it does not. Maybe you either click something. Uh, uh, let me see. Okay. It just freeze. So the, I'm going to talk about a uh, so very short word of the title. So it's called the isentropic approximation. And the, uh, we are going to, uh, so the, here are, so the most important thing for this project is that, so they are the sponsors. And the uh, hardworking collaborators. Uh, they are, so basically, so they are, there are three uh, funding agencies actually uh, uh, supported this program because I, I started to think about this, uh, started this project for quite a long time. So they are, we had uh, so the uh, National Science Foundation from the uh, US, uh, as, as usual, and the uh, National Science Foundation from China. And they, so they are, this uh, CMPQ is like, more or less like National Science Foundation of the Brazil. And uh, so they are uh, here are the uh, the list of the uh, collaborators so far that uh, entering into the uh, into this project and they are 
So they are, now let's talk about so what they are, what the main goal is. The main goal is like, so they are, uh, I think so the audience here are, are pretty, uh, so are very well knowledgeable for this uh, topic is like, okay. So when one, uh, at, say for example, like myself, enter into like a, first time to, uh, to, to learn something for that, like they are gas dynamics or compressible uh, fluids. And they are, then we saw like they are Euler equation. And then we saw the isentropic Euler equation. And they are, I still remember that. So they are, so when, when I saw that is it's like a one sentence. So the entropy is close to a constant. So let's uh, take it a simple life to uh, assume it to be constant. And uh, I reduce the from the full Euler uh, system to a uh, isentropic Euler. And a similar thing has been done for the, uh, for the Navy stores. Uh, so we one uh, uh, start from Navy stores Fourier system and to the isentropy Navy stores. Okay. And they, of course, so there's uh, so we also have some uh, some people here, uh, some experts here uh, working on the incompressible fluid. Then okay, so the uh, incompressible fluid is uh, the further uh, deduction. So you assume like uh, incompressibility in the velocity field from the isentropy model. Okay. So there are uh, intensive actually uh, literature on the incompressible limit. But there are not many uh, things has been done for the isentropic uh, isentropic accumulation. So this is what I'm trying to go trying to do here. And the uh, uh, the time when I was a student, a uh, graduate student, I feel I'm I should not ask too uh, because that time I feel really uncomfortable on that. But I I'm not uh, in uh, cur courageous enough to ask how. Because I, so they, okay, so they are, uh, like, after some time, I, I thought I probably should take the responsibility starting to uh, at least make an effort to answer this question. So they are, uh, okay, so this is what it is. And the, the other reason for this occasion is that we know that, so they are, uh, by doing that, so you know, so they are, uh, they are, uh, the, the ent where entropy was, uh, was, uh, was, uh, was, uh, was uh, replaced by a constant entropy. It's kind of like an analogy of, of like, so they, when we have a first kick, so first kick over there with the candle light up, when we blow out the candles, and then we are going to see a song, and then we are going to celebrate the piano's birthday. Okay, so this is another question, another uh, so the, uh, reason why I choose, I choose this uh, topic. <laughs> Okay, so they are, yeah, happy birthday. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so they, okay. Uh, let's, uh, now let's, uh, let me talk about the, uh, so uh, uh, give a, a brief actual introduction on the uh, problem, and then I'm going to uh, offer you something about the uh, brief or not, uh, so, the, uh, so the presentation of the what we have, have done and what are not, not, are not known. And the, uh, I'm, so the, I, I'm going to, uh, Actually, I still remember that uh, it's quite some years ago. So they are about seven years ago. So I, I just talked to Audi Costas about the, uh, this problem. And they, uh, so I think so that now I, I have something to show uh, uh, that's in progress on this. Okay. So they are, I, and I also, so there is, this is also a call to, for example, uh, the community to enter into this program. So they, everybody's uh, welcome. So okay, so they are we are we basically talk about the classical so they are so macroscopic uh, so the phenomena of the uh, continuum, uh, so the fluid mechanics, and they are we are focused on the compressible uh, fluids, and this is the general notion so everybody knows that and they are so let's skip it, so they are, in this uh, in this talk I'm going to concern on the uh, so, so focus on two basic models one is uh, Navier Stokes Fourier the other is Euler, okay. so they are. So this is a basic model. So they are, it's basic uh, over here. So the only thing uh, that, that I, uh, a little bit, so that I, I, I put it here, they are the internal energy equation because I really want to spell out the structure of this so that I can explain some of that. So here the S is the uh, viscosity, uh, so stress tensor and the Q is the fr uh, heat flux, okay? And they are, so they are, because, uh, because uh, I, I'm probably the one of the earliest or person to talk about this problem, so we can choose the simplest case. So the simplest case is when there's no boundary. Okay. So the, when there's a boundary, so 
when you talk about this uh, this problem, you probably uh, you you are going to actually uh, there there might be a new theory of the boundary layer problem. Okay, so there's a lot of new things here. So that's why I I, I believe so. This is actually a uh, is active uh, is actually really good actually a new uh, new direction to go. Yes. So they are uh, and that and okay. So they are uh, I I choose the simplest uh, uh fluid. So this a uh, Newtonian. Okay. And they are, so mu and the eta are they are so they are two viscosity coefficients, and they are, so they are now uh, my my uh, heat flow so heat flux satisfy the simplest uh, Fourier rule, and here's kappa is the uh, heat conductivity coefficient. Okay, so they are so the, and they okay so now as you can you can see that from the equation so you have a lot of uh, unknowns because like uh, density, uh, velocity, momentum. Pressure, uh, absolute temperature, so the uh, total energy, internal energy, uh, entropy, enthalpies, a lot of things. So, but uh, we know that if you count the uh, equations, you saw so you have two scalar equations plus a vector equation. The vector equation itself is actually the number of the equation itself is uh, exactly matching to the dimension, and so that's matching to the number of a component of velocity or momentum. So, okay, let's remove that. Now that the all those scalars are called the state of variables. And the state of variables, okay, so that's too many. You only have two equations. So therefore, there's only two uh, 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 independent. So they are most likely, so they are for convenience, so they are the, uh, the most popular choice are to basically, so that uh, density and the absolute temperature. Okay, or sometimes uh, you choose the density and the uh, specific entropy. So anyway, so they are. Uh, this is uh, then uh, we uh, get around with like a second law of the uh, thermodynamics, and actually also so they're trying to, uh, in uh, in observation of their first law of thermodynamics. So, so there are four total basic laws in thermodynamics. So the zeroth law is that so the absolute temperature is well defined, no matter what. So the first law is that the total energy need to be conserved if there's no external uh, forcing. And the second law is uh, is well known as so the it's entropy law, and they, I'm going to talk about that. The third law is the positivity of the absolute temperature. Okay. So they are okay. So they are they are so that there's a Gibbs relation also equivalent to the Maxwell relation. So it's, uh, you have this, and they are, so they are, if you uh, put this into the energy equation, what you saw is this uh, what what is famous uh, actually entropy uh, balance law, and they, if uh, if so the right hand side, so you can see that is non-negative. And they uh, and then if you just uh, if you just put this away, and then you just uh, take for example like a greater than equal to zero, this is a, uh, so they are uh, so celebrated actually across uh, Durham uh, inequality. Okay. So they are uh, anyway. So they are uh, there are some other actually situations, but uh, over here, so I want to focus on the simplest case that is the transport coefficient, including the viscosity coefficient, and the uh, heat conductivity uh, coefficient to be constant. Positive constant, for example, and there, of course, there are there are some actually uh like more uh uh so the complex case or more realistic case is like a, uh, for example the uh typing's favorite like this uh so Chapman Anscott law so that uh, the uh, viscosity uh so this transport coefficient is their function on the on the absolute temperature and the, or Susan's law this is a, uh so the physical law is an experimental law and this is for uh uh. And so they, so in a different scenario, so they are when they are, so this model actually, uh, the latest model, more complicated model actually is uh, in the isentropic estimation is uh, going to the uh, so the isentropic maybe source model with the density dependent uh, uh, viscosity. Okay. So this uh, so they okay anyway. So they are uh, what are uh, and then okay. So the other model that the basic model I'm going to talk about is that uh, compressible Euler. Is when uh, the uh, transport coefficient are, are setting to be zero, so you have this. Uh, so they are. This is the. Uh, so there are three uh, conservation laws: uh, mass, uh, momentum, and the uh, and the, and the total energy. Okay. So again, so they are. So they are. Uh, again, so the isentropic approximation is that when the uh, entropy is uh, in a process in a physical process, entropy is near a constant state, and uh, so they are. So instead of just saying that, or oh, I'm just doing this, or uh, uh, I'm I want to actually uh, 
find a mathematical way to provide a reasonable argument to support this process. So now physically, uh, so there are mathematically, how do you do that? It's basically, it's okay, can you see, or can you show me uh, some, uh, some reasonable support on the argument that when, uh, when the entropy uh, minus this constant entropy tends to zero, can you show that the solution of the, so the full system is in some way is close, getting closer and closer to the uh, isentropic, corresponding isentropic solution. Right. So this is, a, this is a reasonable mathematical argument, uh, setup. Okay, so now, uh, and then the reduced, uh, so the, the, the reduced uh, uh, system is like, a, this is correspond, this is the isentropic uh, Navistox, and then the other one is the isentropic uh, so Euler. And then in this case, because uh, the, uh, the entropy was fixed in the, uh, for the, for the, uh, the entropy was fixed to the constant, so then, uh, then you only have one uh, free, free uh, uh, state variable. So most likely people choose the, uh, choose the density. Okay, so this is how. Okay, again, so the, uh, we, want to, uh, we want to find, uh, a, so I want to emphasize it again. So my intention and the motivation of the whole program is to find, trying to find a solid, uh, or at least reasonable, kind of reasonable uh, explanation to justify this approximation. Okay, so they are, uh, okay, so now let's see uh, what, uh, what we can do over here. So they are, so they are, it, it, so let me talk about the order first. Okay, so they are, it's, uh, it's kind of, uh, I will explain to you so how, uh, the, the difficulty of the problem, and I, I'm, I, I'm uh, also is going to tell you, show you that some of the progress. Okay. So the first, uh, it turns out the first thing that uh, we can discuss is they are uh, in a smooth region uh, for their Euler. Okay. So they are. Uh, then you see uh, in this case. So they are. Uh, if it's in a smooth region, so you can literally you can. Uh, so the energy equation is equivalent to the uh, entropy uh, transport equation. Okay. So therefore, you are able to replace that. Uh, you can you can just use the uh, entropy as the unknown variable and then. So you can you can replace the equation by the uh, entropy transport, and in this case, uh, because they are when solutions are smooth, so it, they are equivalent to each other. When solutions are not smooth, so this is not equivalent to the entro uh, to the conservation of the energy. Okay, so you have you have to be uh, have to be, have to be uh, careful. Okay, so now let's see. Uh, use the example for the simplest case. For example, my my, my gas is like a, a polytropic ideal gas. Okay. Then okay, so they are. Then uh, what you want to see is that, so the, uh, the corresponding, uh, so the isentropy model is that, so your, in your pressure rule, you set actually uh, the, the corresponding entropy to be S bar that's constant, okay? And so they are related to each other, and then you saw there are all other things that are in data for the density and the velocity are the same, okay? So now why this, is, uh, why this part is, uh, we, are going, we are able to justify in this case? Is because in a, in, a, in a following okay. So what you saw is that so so in in uh, to justify this uh, this explanation is good. So actually, ideally, so we are able to merge the solution difference of the non isentropic so the whole system with the isentropic correspondence, and so that this uh, difference is converged in certain norm uh, to zero. Okay, when the entropy difference or variation comes to zero. Okay, so there are, if, if you can do, if you can show that, you show that this is actually basically like a continuous actually limiting process, of course, then uh, you, you are confident to say, okay, isentropic explanation is very good because uh, so that uh, in the process when, it's, uh, when the entropy is very, very close to a constant, then your error in the explanation is actually very, very small. Okay, so, and the, then, okay, then you see, so they are, the, the result here, so I, I want to show you is that in the standard uh, measurement by the, for some linear sort of space, or, or the, uh, or, or the, uh, or the, uh, the biggest space, so then what you, what you, you saw here is that, that uh, there are two things. First, if it's a, if a solution, are, as long as uh, they are in a smooth region, then as a tropic uh, can be justified in a very uh, solid sense. However, if you want to do the similar thing for the uh, 
when the solution has a singularity. See, for example, there's a shock wave. Now I have to see that this, uh, this process of justification actually fail. Okay, I, I'm going to show you how, okay? So they are, the, the key observation here is that in smooth regime that the solution of the isentropic uh, Euler is a particular solution or special solution of the full system. Because actually uh, the, when you start with the entropy, constant, uh, constant entropy, then the uh, constant entropy sol solve the entropy transport equation in a perfect way. Okay, so it's automatically uh, satisfied the equations. So therefore, the, therefore this, uh, this actually hint to you that uh, the isotropic, uh, so we can transfer the isentropic uh, uh, to justify the justification of isentropic estimation to a problem of like a continuous dependence of the initial data for the, uh, for the uh, full Euler system when the initial entropy is near constant. Yeah. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. okay, so now, now the question is uh, how, 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 so, so how much, so how good you can go. So then, then you, of course, you want to go the, uh, to the uh, largest possible uh, initial data. That means, okay, so they are as, as long as, and they keep their smoothness. So C1, for example, for the, for the, for the, for the solutions. And there, so then, okay, you, you, you go to the, the critical, uh, uh, so the index of the, uh, like a base of space, as low as possible, right? So that we all know that HS, uh, HS theory for the, uh, for the well poisonous theory, then when S is bigger than uh, D over two plus one, right? So D is the dimension. And then, so they are using the uh, base of space, actually you can go to exactly S, uh, that, uh, that S equal to D over two plus one. So there are, and then I, I don't think this is uh, that much to, to tell, tell that. But so for to doing that, you need to actually, uh, you need to re redo the, uh, so the, uh, the local well poisonous in the uh, critical uh, base of space using the, uh, so the, uh, I think, uh, I think uh, so Professor Kawashima is actually online. So, so this is the, uh, so the, uh, this is the Makino uh, Wukai and the uh, Kawashima's uh, approach, uh, so the symmetrizer, uh, allowing uh, initial vacuum in the uh, initial data. And then, so they are, then you, uh, then you transfer this into the symmetric hyperbolic uh, uh, system. And then you just, so they, you build up the exactly the, so the, 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 the local well uh theory uh, in that critical, uh, so base of space for uh, such kind of uh, systems. And they, this can be done. And they, so they are without much uh, difficulty. Okay. And then uh, let me show you also what they are, uh, what are the result of the, uh, of the uh, of the um, what, uh, of the in this case, what are the what are the result of the isentropic estimation? Uh, how how, how what the, what's the justification? Okay, so the u with the with the uh, so the uh, with the so the label i is the u epsilon is the uh, so the gen the solution of the full system, and the u i is the isentropic one, corresponding isentropic one. Okay, so what you saw is that uh, here's here's the theorem. So there are First of all, so they are if uh, so if you have uh, this initial data are uh, in the uh, in the uh, right uh, right space, and they are, so we set up like the initial uh, so we set up like uh, the uh, so the the difference of the uh, entropy so there and then we uh, put a control parameter epsilon right uh, in front of the difference, and so then uh, then what you saw is that actually you can. If you want to go higher, it's fine. You can go higher, but uh, so the, I think so L two is enough, right? For the for the for the, to 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 show the uh, justification of the uh, uh, justification of the isentropic approximation. So what you saw here is that actually a constant multiplied to epsilon. So the, the same order of the uh, so the uh, the initial uh, uh, disturbance of the uh, uh, so entropy from the constant state, and there are. Uh, and then, so that one is uh, O1, so the, uh, so the L2 normal for phi is the O1, O1, O1 term. So then you see that it's exactly the same order as they are, as they are, so they are, as they are, so they are, uh, so, the, uh, so the variation from the, uh, from the constant uh, entropy, okay? So you cannot, you, you, can, you cannot do better than that. Okay, so the, I think this is uh, good enough. Any question here so far? Okay, should be fine, right? Okay, so now uh, uh, I'm not the uh, first person pursuing this. Uh, 
Okay, so there are many people are just thinking about this problem, and they, I'm not the first person who published a paper on this. Okay, so the first one, uh, to, to, uh, to my knowledge, uh, so a serious uh, considered problem, and they published a very serious uh, research paper uh, is, uh, so Laura said my name. Okay. So they are, uh, and it's 2000. And what she did is uh, she considered the, um, the 1D compressible ovula, and then she's uh, examining the solution in the BD class. Okay. Uh, so I have to say that uh, she, uh, in that paper, actually, there's a lot of uh, uh, very uh, so nice uh, to estimate and a lot of interesting ideas. But, uh, but, the, uh, but the estimate does not serve for the purpose. Okay. So uh, one cannot uh, conclude from that that, okay, when they are, uh, for some, uh, the difference of the, uh, so this uh, entropy function uh, mi uh, minus constant can to zero, then they, uh, the difference of the full system, uh, the solution of the full system, uh, so, uh, so, so subtract the uh, isentropic solution will converge to zero in certain normal. Uh, there's no, there's no there's such a conclusion. And then I have an explanation to that. that. That is, so maybe it's not possible if you want to do that way. Okay. So I'm going to explain to you why. Okay. So there are, for some reason, so as long as you think about this problem, when, you want, when you're trying to, show, to, uh, to go this way, and then you want to use the linear uh, space topology, okay? So in phase space, so you have a density and then you have a velocity or momentum. Uh, so you have, and then this for isentropic part, and then you have one more dimension of the, of the, uh, of the, with the entropy, right? And then each horizontal section of that is the, is the isentropic uh, phase space. Okay, so now think about that. So you want to go from the uh, non-isentropic solution and then to see how the distance from the corresponding one uh, for the isentropic one. And so you try, so no matter how you project it, if you measure it in a linear way, so you see that uh, the case more or less reduced to the, to the continuous dependence of the data. Does that make sense? Okay, so now, now let me show you that uh, uh, a, a simple example. Here's a simple example I'm going to show you. And there are, so let's uh, pick up the 1D uh, case. So 1D, uh, one dimensional actually, uh, uh, so compressible oil. And they are, I carefully uh, paid attention over here about this, like, uh, so there are this, uh, en uh, so this total energy equation. Okay, to, uh, because I'm, so I'm going to discuss uh, what happened actually for the, for the, for later or when this, when that's short. Okay, so now I ch carefully choose the initial data so that this is a uh, uh, non negative density and here's has a uh, uh, smooth actually uh, velocity and then my initial entropy is a constant. Now, okay, so if, um, so you can easily choose, for example, actually very good actually initial data. Say for example, even away from vacuum, for example, and it's smooth and with constant, with constant initial entropy, then okay, as long before the solution break down, the, the solution of this guy of, is exactly the same as the, uh, as the as corresponding isentropic one. They are the same, okay? So they are the same to this one. So therefore, before, before singularity formation, so that, that the difference of two solutions is zero. And it, okay, in particular, so initial difference are zero, okay? Now the question is what? The question is that, so I can so I can easily so arrange the, the, the data to blow up at some, uh, some point. So then the two systems blow up at the same time, same place, because they are essentially the same before the blow up. Okay, so now, then, okay, so how do I extend my solution? To extend my solution, I needed to solve, a, at that point, a Neyman problem, or generalize the Neyman problem. Okay, now let's, now, let's take up, uh, uh, now let's look at the Neyman problem. So essentially, so the Neyman problem is solving for same initial data, same Neyman initial data for two different systems. One is non-isentropic, the one that, other one is isentropic. Okay, now what, so what? Think about the, uh, how do you solve for the isentropic one? Uh, the, the entropy is uh, just a parameter in the function of the pressure. That's not available. So you've got a, basically an isentropic Neyman problem, okay? So the entropy does not change. Make sense? I mean physical entropy, not the uh, not the other entropy. Okay, so 
now I, my shock was actually physical, uh, the missile was some, say for example, 30 is fine, all this nice condition, like last condition, and then like a high pins condition, and then all uh, costs the condition, okay? Uh, so it's like all these nice conditions. And then, okay, so now the other one is like my, I, so the non isentropic of the full system, when I solve for the full system of this the same initial data, although initially the entropy is constant, so we all know that across the shock wave, the entropy has to increase. So therefore the entropy is no longer, no longer constant, okay? So you saw that uh, the difference because so of the solutions are, are non-zero. So you start from zero difference, now there's a non-zero difference. The ratio is infinity. Okay. So therefore, so that's uh so you see that you, you see if you if you use the same perspective, so then you see it is not possible to uh, justify isentropic approximation. One has to find something else. Maybe some nonlinear topology. Did I explain well on this? Any question here? Okay. Uh, so yeah, so there is a it's a for the for the general case for the like a, the one so the one of the interesting question is that okay how can we do the uh, single Lipman problem? Okay, find the find the reasonable way to pass to 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 provide actually a good justification. So this is a uh, this is a uh, uh, this is probably the uh, simple uh, question that I can ask, but it's, uh, it's really there's no answer to that yet. Okay. So they are okay. So then then we see okay. So they are the security is a problem, right? So how about uh, how about the Navier Stokes Fourier system? Then there's a there's a chance to have a global smooth solution. Okay. Right. So they are. I have to tell you that it take about it take uh, quite some years. Uh, so from the uh, from the result, uh, before we are able to do anything on the Navier Stokes Fourier. Uh, so let me let me show, tell you why. Okay. So we started with the, this, this uh, uh, again. So I I don't consider the uh, the boundary. Uh, so the boundary is probably is the future project, but not at this moment. So they are this set of the initial data and the away from vacuum and the initial data is actually a small smooth perturbation of the uh, constant state, okay? So I have a positive, uh, so the, uh, the constant uh, far field uh, density and the constant uh, positive, uh, positive constant actually uh, absolute temperature uh, cons uh, at the far field and the far field uh, velocity is zero, right? So it's uh, as nice as you can wish. Okay, so then the corresponding, uh, so this, yeah, so this is, uh, assume it's ideal gas. So the corresponding, uh, so the isentropic one is this, right? So again, so this, uh, you put actually in the pressure rule, you, uh, you, you substitute this uh, specific entropy by the constant S, S bar. Okay. So now the question is, uh, can we show the similar thing like what we did in the smooth region for the oil? You said, oh, okay, no, so that's no, now we, we, we do not have singularity because the, we do know that uh, things, for example, the Japanese group, <laughs> like uh, uh, so Masumura Nishida, right? So 19, uh, 1979. Uh, so we know that. So they are uh, uh, that's a global smooth solution, right? And they are we know a lot of information on that. So now uh, that's no. So that you can when the data actually is very well prepared. So they are there's no singularity in the solution. However, so that's a that's a fee. Uh, Physical reason that uh, it's hard. So, so why is it hard? Okay. So that it's hard is the following. So there's a two two major reason that it's uh, it's hard. Is physically so there are uh, that's a that's a problem. So that's one that's why I, I came back to this problem because at the time when I was told so that's a that's a way to have this isotropic model. I feel oh no, I learned something. I I, I remember I learned something. That, uh, so the thermodynamics. So there's something that's prevent me actually to, uh, to, to see that. Okay, so first of all, it's clear that, so they are, so they are, unless you have like a stationary solution, uh, uh, otherwise, so they are, it's, whenever it's like the dynamic and then non true will, and then so you, you have like, so that this, the isentropic uh, model uh, fail to satisfy the second rule. And then so therefore, so they are, 
so that's the reason that also they are you, even you start with, for example, for the full never slows the full year, even you start with the initial constant uh, ent uh, entropy. So when, when so so immediately, so when t is positive, instantaneously actually the entropy become non constant. Okay. Okay. So they are okay. So this is the first one, first uh, first pro first reason, and the second reason is that so the second reason uh, is that so they are actually it's even worse as entropy uh as entropy never stores does not also does not satisfy the first law either, because you have uh, because they are so they are. Because then there's no internal energy equation, so they are the viscosity is going to heating, so the friction is going to heat they are through the up, but the, so they transfer the kinetic energy into the to heating, but this part cannot be count, does not count into another equation like uh, the full system, so therefore you got the dissipation from that, so so the so the total so, so the energy is not conserved, it's actually decreasing. Okay, so that's so it, it does not satisfy the uh, 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 first law either. So therefore, so they are if you want to do the similar thing like uh, what uh, like uh, like what we succeed in the uh, smooth regime for the Euler, you trying to show it actually uh, like the continuous dependence of initial data, you fail because you 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 got exactly the similar scenario like the shockwave case is that okay you start from the exact same initial data, and then when t is positive. You immediately see actually the uh, difference, so the positive difference of the uh, uh, measure in any row in, uh, of the difference of the solutions. Okay, so they've got uh, so the so a positive number over at zero is a uh, uh, so the ratio is in, uh, infinity. Okay, so this uh, that's no reason that's a, that I don't I don't found any good way to explain that. So now uh, are we just going to see that? Oh no! So there's a detective reason. That's not uh, that's not our what 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 our mission is, right? Our mission is trying to find a good support evidence. Okay, so let's try to find a way. So find a way. So I already uh give you a hint. The time is impossible. Okay, so now uh what what uh, what 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 is the possible uh argument of support evidence that I can find for for, for me? So. You, uh, some of you probably might find a better way. Okay, what I'm trying to argue is the following. So, in this uh, setup, we know that both the isentropic uh, nervous source and the uh, nervous source, uh, so the uh, compressible nervous source Fourier system. So, when the initial data is a smooth, smooth perturbation of this uh, constant uh, states, so the solution is actually going to decay when t goes to infinity. To the uh, constant state. Okay, so therefore that constant state serve as a good approximation to the solution when, uh, for large time. Make sense? This is decaying time. So that the, uh, the, the, the disturbance so that is going to uh, die out when uh, decay in time. Okay, when time when, when time is large enough, so they actually the area of the of the solution to that constant state actually is becomes smaller and smaller. Okay, so this is first. Now the question is: So I'm going to argue that the corresponding isentropic solution provides a better approximation to the full system than the constant state. Is that clear? So it's a better approximation than the constant state. Okay. So so it's actually there's some reason for for using rather than the constant state. Okay. At least for time large. Okay. So now. Now this, what does this tell us, and what is the challenge for this, uh, for this, uh, for this approach? So it's basically actually. So they are what you need to do first. Of course, so the first one is easy. So we know that you need to show the uh, uh, global existence of solutions, right? The second thing is that so you need to really need to compare the difference of this uh, uh, so full system solution and the isentropic solution to the full full system solution to uh, uh, so um, so the difference to the uh, constant state. So therefore, you really need to know. You want one uh, one to be smaller than the other. You really need to have the uh, idea on a, a good a good argument to show that this is strict uh, inequality. Okay. Now, how to do that? So therefore, so you need to uh, you need to show that actually uh, first of all, they are uh, for the the lower bound of the decay of the uh solution to the uh, constant state. You cannot, uh, you cannot have only upper bound. 
to, to compare that, right? Because zero is less than anything are decaying in time, right? No matter how fast it is, right? So you also needed to know the lower bound. And then the second, that, then, okay, then you need to compare them. Okay, so they're most, they are, the ideal, ide, ideally, you probably think about it. Okay, maybe so they are, the difference of the isentropic solution to their full system, uh, the solution of a full system may decay faster than they are, than, than they solve to the, uh, the constant state. If that's the case, actually, it might, might be an easy way. Okay, let me sh let, let's see whether it's, uh, it's, it's possible or whether it's the case. Okay. If this is uh, at the first glance, so I, everybody want to, uh, you wish the best, right? Let's, uh, let's uh, keep this whole. Now let's see, okay, so first of all, this, uh, uh, this is how, let me skip this uh, uh, solutions. So this is the, uh, the solution is uh, classical. And then now let's uh, think about, so this is the, uh, the isentropic, uh, so the isentropic solution, so there's a, uh, the solution mi uh, so minus the uh, constant state. And then we, uh, we call this N and M, uh, tilde so two for the, for the difference. And then, so then you can see actually the, uh, the lower bound can be obtained by, by, uh, by, by impose that this is, uh, I think this is one of the, uh, the first time then, uh, when I saw this, uh, when I saw this, uh, this condition, when it's O equal to zero, is uh, actually uh, is typing's uh, famous uh, result of, uh, very famous actually uh, uh, work on the, uh, this like, uh, so the stability of a viscous shock. And then, so that's a zero excessive mass uh, condition. Here, so we, we, we actually want to, want to have the non-zero excessive mass. So we call it a non degenerate Okay, well, as long as the initial data is not uh, mean free, then uh, average free, uh, so they are, then, yeah, then you have lower bound. Lower bound uh, actually is uh, decay exactly at the same level. So like L2, uh, L2 difference is actually decay at the, so they are negative three, uh, three quarter for three dimensional space. Okay, so this is a classical. And this can be done by just, uh, so you identify this leading order is the linear part. And then you assume that uh, the, uh, the remainder actually is, uh, is uh, dominated by the linear part. Okay. So that's, uh, that's how, okay? You just prove that. So it's actually a high, so uh, dominated by the linear part. And then the linear part, we know the lower part and lower bound and the upper bound because that's an explicit formula, okay? So the similar thing can be done for the, uh, for the next source fully, right? So they are the same thing. Okay, so now that, let's uh, compare uh, to, the, uh, to the isentropic approximation. So what do you do? So what do you do is the uh, following. So the, um, the key problem is came from the uh, entropy, entropy equation. So that, let me recall you, uh, so this entropy uh, principle. So it looks nice, actually, uh, pretty much like, uh, uh, so the convection uh, uh, transport, uh, then you have a diffusion. Uh, diffusion at over here, and then you have uh, some actually, so they are basically second order in the derivative, so projective uh, derivative terms. Okay, looks nice, right? Uh, but I have to tell you, so they are, it's uh, even for, uh, so it's uh, hard to actually, uh, uh, at the beginning, so you probably think of, uh, even for example, like a zero initial data. Okay, even for zero initial data of this, of for the entropy, for this uh, equation. And then you know your density, you know your velocity, you know your uh, uh, temperature, uh, so pretty much. And then, then, you, then you start to solve it. And then, then you see, actually, uh, it's not that simple. So it does not decay at a fa faster rate. It's actually decay at the same rate, okay? So let me show you how, what, what it, it is. So the entropy wave actually has two parts. So one part actually is faster as, as expected, but the other part actually is like also the same order, so you see the leading order. However, the, the hope is that it's a high order in smallness because of the structure. You saw the source term actually is the quadratic in the, in the derivative. Okay, so this is similar day. Okay, so therefore there's a hope, and the, but, but it's very hard. This, this is going to, because we need to compare the solution of the full system to the isentropic one. And the, for the isentropic system, there's, a, there's missing either temperature or, 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 or entropy as a variable. So that's, you have to artificially make up. But then, 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 okay, so we find a way to basically control 
to let this part, so the, 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 the major part to flow uh, by a, carry out by a auxiliary actually uh, equation. You need to, uh, to let it flow. Uh, if, if, uh, and then uh, the other part is just uh, do the coupling directly into the system. So have to treat it in a separate way. And anyhow, so what you can do is the following. So we introduce a, introduce a, a control parameter. So it could be arbitrary uh, big uh, n, n zero. And then you see that the difference uh, is like this. So therefore the, this part actually you can see when, when capital N zero is large enough, then you see actually it's smaller than the delta zero. Delta zero is the order of the, in, uh, so the initial difference, disturbance of the uh, density and the separate momentum. Okay. And then, uh, so this is a higher order, but it has the same order. So therefore, when time is large and the N zero is large, so you successfully shown that, so the, uh, the error by, by using the isentropy information is still smaller than the uh, error using the uh, constant equilibrium. Okay. Does it make sense? And then I, I think my time is up, so I will stop here. Thank you very much. And, and, phone call, phone call, Thank you, Ronghua, for the, for the talk and uh, for the wishes. Uh, so, uh, do you have questions? Uh, the place where you had lower bound of uh, the estimates, lower bound, ah, the moment, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, here you have uh, these moments different from zero integral. You only need a one of them to be uh, down zero. Suppose all of them are zero, but you take higher order moment, for example. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Then what, have, what will happen? Yeah, yeah, then you, then you, then you have, uh, then you have the uh, different order of the decay. Yeah, then you have to do it. It's possible to do it again. So it's uh, like, a, but, uh, but this, uh, I think, so that for me, so this is, uh, at this level, I think it's uh, pretty good because it's the first one. So the, uh, you, you definitely can go actually further. So they are to think about it when they, when is it de uh, degenerate at a certain degree, then you go to the next one. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, yeah, v very good, yeah. So that's a very good question. Any... Any other questions? Yeah. Just a little comment that uh, you, you show the example that the fact that in presence of shock waves, uh, it doesn't work uh, because of course, so you can do this construction, but uh, is in general due to the fact that uh, if you introduce uh, some irreversibility, then uh, the approximation clearly Cannot go back. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So that's uh, but uh, but uh, so they are, uh, but my purpose is to see the uh, positive things. I'm not trying to uh, report the negative things. I cannot tell my uh, colleague uh, around the world that uh, I enjoy model is. Uh, <laughs> I I have to. So my I I I so the I took my mission to try to add the uh, solid foundation to the I yeah, model sure, sure. rather than the other way around. So that's, uh, yeah, that's what I, 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 we are doing. So the, for example, so there are a lot of things like this happening. For example, when we solve like the linear, uh, so linear systems, like AX equal to B in a linear algebra, that's, that's sometimes there's no solution, right? But then we, when we, uh, let me, uh, let me also introduce the least square technology and to, to, uh, to see the best optimal, uh, so best possible solution. So there, then we, I think so we, we should keep the similar uh, spirit. Because uh, to basically tell, so what the what kind at what sense the uh, this model actually is uh, is actually valid and is good, and the uh, and the uh, what kind of area you you can tolerate. So we this that's my, that's our mission. I think so. We, we cannot just stop. Otherwise, I can stop just here. So no, okay. For all the part is done, right? But it's 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 far from the uh, uh far from uh, complete. And the other thing is that when the when the when the boundary was introduced, then you can clearly see that uh, you are missing a, bond, a boundary condition. Uh, when you go to the isentropic, in particular for the Navier-Stokes uh, Fourier case, okay. 
So there, so there, there, there might be a new theory of the boundary layer. Thank you. Ah. Um, uh, what about the case gamma equal one, the isothermal case? Uh, the, for the isothermal case, uh, so for gamma equal to one, so then there's no such uh, thing uh, to, should be discussed because you already uh, reduce what you say. You don't have that uh, the uh, non-isotropic case. It's isothermal already is a special. It's already reduced, so it's, it's not appropriate to ask this question, but uh, it's possible if uh, one probably can consider about the isothermal, uh, instead of the entropy, you consider the temperature, and then you let temperature go through the constant. Yeah, so you can you can you can consider that case. Yeah. Um, questions, further questions or comments? Okay, I think that uh, we can think. Uh, Thank uh, Ronghua again. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. So uh, today's session is, uh, is is over because uh, yes, and uh, we resume tomorrow at. Um,